and glory, eternal glory, we shall bear its weight together, forged like the saber in the fires of death, brothers all. Traditional Mandalorian War Chant Four clicks from Avi Beta, Kulara. It would have been much, much easier to fight in a different environment. Niner decided that when he got back to base, he'd ask to amend the training manual on non-urban warfare to reflect the fact that SOPs for temperate rural terrain were definitely not interchangeable with jungle tactics. It was the fields. There was too much open ground between areas of cover. Niner had been singing the fork of a tree for so long that one buttock was numb and the other was catching up fast. And still the group of militia was sprawled in the grass at the edge of the recently mown field, passing around bottles of equal. Niner didn't stir under his camouflage of leaves. It was nearly autumn, so it was a trick they wouldn't be able to rely on much longer, as almost all the woodland was deciduous. They planned to pull out long before then. Anything happening, Sarge? Fee's voice was a whisper in his helmet, even though the sound wouldn't carry. It was a smart habit, just in case. If one precaution was good, two was better. Still swigging? Yeah. We could always wait until they die of liver failure. Save the ammo. You okay? My bladder's a bit full, but fine otherwise. At and shredding that Speedy's onboard computer. I hope he's doing it quietly. He's moved into the wood a bit. He reckons he's downloaded some high-res charts, but the rest are probably fried. He's on the encryption files now. As long as he's happy. Fee made a stifled snort of laughter. <laughs> yeah, he's happy. I've been Darman. Niner still had no idea what Atten had meant by that. He'd remember to ask him at a more appropriate moment. All he wanted right then was for Hoken's men to get up and move on, so they could cross over to RV Beta just four clicks ahead. It would have been easy to pick them off from here, but that would leave a nice pile of calling cards, and the squad had left too many already. Niner wanted to avoid all the hard contact that he could. They have to run out of Urkol soon, and they can't be taking Gez Hoken very seriously, he thought to himself. Niner was watching the group through his rifle scope, wondering why there was a preponderance of weakways when they all looked up, but not at him. They were looking to his right. Five more targets approaching, Fee said. Niner tracked right very gently. Got him. They didn't look like militia. There was an Embaran, very smart, in a pale gray uniform that matched his skin, and four battle droids marching behind him. Some of the militia boys got to their feet. One of them, reclining on the ground, held up his bottle out in offering, muttering something about curing rust. The only words of conversation that Niner could pick up from the Embaran were, Hogan asks, any contact? The breeze took the rest. They've got reinforcements, he thought. They look like a different problem altogether. And they were, but not for him this time. The reinforcement droids raised their integral blasters without warning and simply opened fire into the group of militia. They fired a few bolts in an orderly manner and then waited, looking down at their victims as if checking. The Umbaran, commissioned officer or sergeant, stepped forward and fired another blast at close range into a weak way. Apparently satisfied that their job was done, they gathered up the group's assortment of blasters and sidearms, searched the bodies for something, ID, Niner suspected, and marched calmly away, back down their approach route. Niner heard Fee exhale at the same time he did. <sighs> well, you can empty your bladder now, I suppose. Niner slid down from the fork of the tree, and his leg buckled under him. He removed the plates and rubbed his thigh to get the circulation going. What do you reckon all that was about, then? 
Hoken doesn't like them drinking on duty? Atten appeared, a jumble of circuitry and wires in one hand. Looks like the Tinnies have shown up to take over. But why shoot them? Tinnies? Fee said. What did your squad call them? Droids? Niner nudged Fee. General Zay said Hoken was violent and unpredictable. He executes his own people in cold blood. Let's remember that. They gathered up their gear, and this time it was the turn of Atten and Niner to carry the load they'd rigged under slung on a pole. Fee walked ahead on point. I haven't fired a shot yet, he said. On this sort of mission, the fewer the better, Atten said. Niner took it as a sign that Atten was joining in. His tone wasn't as defensive. Regular people said they couldn't tell the difference between one clone and another, did they? Niner thought. That was what came of spending too much time looking at faces and not enough wondering what shaped people and went on inside their heads. Save them for later, Niner said. I think we're going to need every single round. 